is good mess good mess but we're not going to play uh, that game I gotta think about your game doofus Being a doofus. <laughs> Toast. 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 Okay, okay. Oh, how much conversion has Joey done here in the spids? Make this this sucker streamable. <whistles> Keyboards and shit. Key blower rail. Slap some jam on that, yeah. <laughs> Indeed. A little bit more butter for your bread. Shinner. Yeah. Okie dokie. Wait. No, that's not right. Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? Okay, okay. Oh, here's, yeah, I got a, this is what I want to do. I want to see if I can customize this text size in the chat here. Edit your stream title and description. No. Negative. Oh, there we go. Chat appearance. Yeah, give me some giant. There we go. Giant font. Thank you. Timestamp for new messages. Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Replies in chat. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. Adjustment made. Bueno.
tell you what, a cold splash of water on the face. <whistles> Get me all fine and dandy. Get me all fine and dandy. Ugh. Oh, I can breathe again. Slap some jam. Slap some jam, Sam I am. I'm gonna force you to do what I say. Eat these green eggs and ham. Damn! What are the implications of the green eggs and ham moral? I don't know. We talked about this. I chat about it all the time, man. I just don't get it. Force someone to do someone something to keep saying no about? I mean, come on. Nobody likes that. Airflow in here, I'm dead. Might as well consider me dead. Ooh. Never had the sucker oscillating like this, this, this. I'm doing it now, though. Come on now. Oscillate on me. Oscillate for me, please. Yeah, you can have it oscillate if you want to be indicted. Have the DA all over your ass. Um, okay. Uh, ooh. God. Okay. You can do it. It's all up to you. Okay. With this little plan, you can take some fucking photographs today.
gotta get started, bro. What are you doing? Now I'm sitting here just kinda getting my shit together. Terrible. Take the lap. Okay, man, we ain't getting any younger here, right? Let's. It's freaking dit. I got my controller, my phone on do not disturb. Durr. Donster. Don't disturb, I'm playing Zelda. Rock, 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 photography. Bam. Hello, all. Oh, welcome to the dark room. I am Palmo Sahantin, the dude in the dark room, and it is 748 on July 28th. It's a Thursday, which means it's Triforce Thursday here in the dark room, and we're going to be doing some photography in Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, we're, we're sticking with a summer type theme at the moment. The you! I should have checked, actually. That's what I mean to do is check, make sure that the redemptions are working. Oh, well. Hey, they're working. Um, we're sticking with a summer type theme. We're, we're shooting the coastal areas of the game, sticking to the beaches. Um, and having a great time doing it. This is actually, actually it's been a pretty, pretty fun, uh, uh, season here, in my opinion. Um, it was, it's, uh, I've been waiting to get down to some of these areas, and now that we're doing it, it's really fun. Uh, last, last stream was very challenging, getting those shots of the Guardian that we got. First thing we're actually going to do is jump in and edit those. That's going to be a big can of worms right there. Lots to go through. Um, and if you want to watch that previous episode, if you missed it, or if you want to watch any of the previous streams, uh, they will end up on YouTube uh, eventually. I try to get them up the next week, generally speaking, is, is when you, when those will go up on YouTube. Otherwise, I like to leave it on Twitch uh, for the Twitch viewers to check it out there. Um, I'd be interested to know, actually... If any of y'all look, watch one or the other. Actually, probably, it's probably better if you wait for them to pop up on YouTube. I'm not sure, actually, what would be the best if it's after the fact. I think if you're not watching it live, it's better to wait and watch it on YouTube. Or it helps me out more if, if you're watching it on YouTube anyway, um, I would say. But I could be wrong about that. I just don't know why it would be better to watch it on Twitch. The rerun versus watching it on YouTube. Um, I don't know. Either way, uh, those will be up on YouTube. All these past uh, episodes end up on YouTube. Uh, as well as what we're really working on every time we're doing any of these streams, which is uh, a full, detailed explanation of the photography in this game. What we like about it, what we don't like about it. Uh, what we want to do with it, we, what we have been doing with it. Uh, watch them and blow us. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Um, thank you, brother. Uh but all the, those videos will end up on YouTube as well. Once we finish uh, those roundup videos, those will end up on YouTube as well, uh, along with some other cool, fun little videos I have planned uh, or, or in the works. Appreciate your patience. I know I've been talking about some of that stuff for a long time, but uh, I feel like every stream that I do, there's always something I'm changing and reevaluating and doing something a little bit different. Uh, so it's uh, it's like... Every, it's it's like I feel like I'm moving forward, but then I change my methods or um, the way I want to do something, or I want to you know restart doing something a completely different way, and then uh, it takes time to get back up and running in that in that direction that we wanted to start going. So uh, anyway, I apologize for the wait on some of those things, but it's worth it. I promise. Um, I'll be providing you my thorough notes. Yeah, dude, notes are good. I appreciate anything. Uh, anything people have to offer, anything people have to say, happy to hear it. Especially if you do post these kind of things on the Discord that we have. 
We have a pretty awesome Discord community, um, you know, all based around a photography aspect of whatever it is. So there's a nice photography section, which is our video game photography. Uh, and then we have a great real life photography uh, uh, section as well. And I appreciate and love to see everybody's work in any case, whether it's a game type photography, what we like to call photography, obviously, or real photography. I love to see it all. So uh, obviously share what you got if you want. We would all appreciate it over there. I would definitely appreciate it. Um, and if you have any thoughts or ideas or whatever, I'm happy to hear that kind of stuff too. It's great to put it on the Discord so I don't uh, forget about it when it's mentioned in the chat because that can happen. Um, either way, I hope everybody is having a great evening. Hope you all had a good day. Hope you all have been having a good week. It's getting close to the end of the week here. So I uh, hope everyone's ready to have a, a fun weekend. Uh, if you didn't have a good day, I'm going to give you this moment right now. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Relax a little bit. Let's have some fun. Uh, I highly suggest you jump into whatever game uh, you enjoy playing and try to do some photography in that game. If there's any photography in the games that you enjoy playing, take some photos, go on some photographic adventures, share them with uh, me at the very least, you know, I mean, I want to see, I want to know, I, I want some more ideas. Um, I'd be interested to know what kind of games other people are taking uh, photography in and, and creating some cool stuff uh, outside of Zelda and Fallout, which are our two big games that we're really doing our in-game photography with. Um, and I have a lot of, there's a lot of other uh, games planned. For instance, I think uh, I had mentioned Pokemon Snap is going to be probably my next one of my next big playthroughs detailed playthroughs and then i really want to do uh final fantasy 15 because uh, that has a pretty sweet photo system and i very much enjoyed photography in that game um so got that to look forward to uh either way play some games relax sit back have some fun um and uh yeah forget all your worries we are now in the dark room what happens in the dark room stays in the dark room and everything is outside the dark room stays outside the dark room um, and I invite you to bring yourself into that mindset as well while we're doing this. Very healthy. Forget about everything for a minute. You know, it'll be there when you get back. All your worries and troubles will be there when you get back. Uh, but right now, let's let's have some fun and relax, you know. Um, take photos in the game, Paul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, share some on the Discord. Show me some cool screen grabs. Um, we'd love to see that. How's my audio? Is my audio really high right now? I feel like my audio is really up there. I actually been questioning my audio levels in general. Like, I don't know. Check, 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 check. I don't know if where my audio levels are falling. This could be a very quick, uh, very, very, very fast uh, research uh, that I could do on the internet that I never, never end up doing. Any of the questions that I ask on the stream, I just never end up remembering to look those up between the next. Uh, stream and what we're doing so sorry i'm a doofus i gotta i should write notes down but then i don't want to write notes down so or i just get lazy about it i do want to i write notes down just when i'm streaming you know anyway let's jump in let's have some fun it's gonna be a very long um it's gonna be a very long edit session tonight because we shot a lot of that uh guardian uh, and there's a lot of good ones too um I just did my, uh, I just did my playback of of the previous stream and chose which which clips, uh, which shots that I want to create clips for. And that last this last stream that we're gonna look at the shots from, is huge, man. I got let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. We'll call it fourteen because I think one of those is kind of a duplicate shot that I can get. Um, or I I liked. The subsequent shot that's very similar um, but that's a lot i think i had told myself at one point just aim for th like three good clips three clips three good shots on each stream that you can create a clip of c capturing that image uh but then if there's if there's too many good ones it's hard to choose and then i'm like we'll just do them all uh it's actually better to have more anyway so i can just flood eventually flood posting uh the clips from from our streams onto the various social media types 
which is very frustrating. I'm also curious if anybody thinks I should just be focusing on one alternate social media outside of uh, outside of Twitch. What would be the best place to to be sticking to posting? Because it's like uh, right now I'm 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 like I'm creating these clips and it's like okay I got to post them on YouTube, got to post them on Instagram, and we got to post them on TikTok. Uh, and it's it's like and they're all the same thing. So I guess it's not difficult to post to all three and just call it a day. But uh, the formatting I've been trying to format things slightly different for each each uh social media and maybe that's a big mistake myspace yeah let's let's go with the most popular <laughs> the most popular i think i have a myspace dude let me see really quick uh i thought i did i've not logged on or done well there's a guy named paul mulefield maybe my Maybe my, um, maybe my, my, maybe I deleted my MySpace. Did I delete my MySpace? Must include Palmo C. Hanton. Um, nah. Nah, I think it's gone. I don't think I had anything on there. My claim to fame, classic Palmo C. Hanton. So there's photos that somebody, that, that, like from a photo shoot that I did for my buddy's band from a freaking decade ago or whatever um yeah whatever who gives a shit anyway that was just funny you brought up myspace my claim to fame was i had i had created the the instead of it saying no photo in the little profile photo i had changed it to say all photo and it was like the exact same graphic but they just said all photo and it was like wondering how many people would pick up on the the, the difference doesn't matter I, 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 no one cares. No one cares. We're here for Zelda, man. Not here for MySpace talk. Um, okay. So first of all, also, I'm going to need to craft some more uh, health recovery foods. Maybe a couple defense buffs wouldn't hurt. Um, I also try, wanted to try to stay in my, my little swim trunks <laughs> for the remainder. Or at least, maybe, at least if we're not doing battle... I was like, let's stick in, let's stick with, uh, let's stick with these little swimming trunks that I got on. Very fitting for our beachfront type photography. Um, any, any, any way. So where were we? We we have been, like I said, we're sticking with these coastal areas of Hyrule, and damn it, we are de <laughs> looking at how long it's taken to get this far. It's like, I don't know if we're going to get through the... I mean, we're not going to get through the entire beach areas. I can guarantee you that. Um, I remember thinking that we're not going to find very much... I mean, and maybe it'll... Maybe that'll change. Maybe we'll... As we're traveling, maybe it'll actually end up speeding up. Like, maybe we'll get through some more of these anding... Uh, some, some more of these areas. I was reading landing uh, as I was trying to say areas. And so I said anding. Uh... That's what your brain does when you're reading and trying to speak at the same time, which is one of the challenges of live streaming, in my opinion. Actually, one of the things that stressed me out the most about doing this in the first place was uh, I was I was on a lot of Zoom, uh, Zoom hangouts with my buddies playing games while also trying to be involved in our Zoom chats. And it would it would give me such a weird headache. It'd give me such a weird like it was like my attention is like your eyes trying to look in two different directions is the only uh, way I could explain what the way my head felt like I could not pay attention and it would stress me out uh, or at least I'd feel like I'd get a headache and it, I, I, I did not like it. And so I thought it sounded a little iffy getting on a stream and trying to do this with the way that was feeling. But you know what? It's a it's a definitely a skill that you can learn, uh, and with practice, it's not as difficult as as you might think. In fact, sometimes sometimes it's nice to have either the usually what's the game that I'm playing when I'm playing the game and chatting. It's kind of nice to have the game uh, going on in the background in your head, doing your tasks in the game while also 
trying to tell a story or something like that. I do find it to be kind of relaxing almost to have that like mundane and you know, you can't do complicated shit in the game, but the like stupid Monday, just walking around looking for a good shot or whatever and chatting at the same time. Uh, it can actually end up feeling kind of nice to have something to distract you while your brain is uh, trying to remember whatever concept you're explaining or story you're explaining. Anyway, uh, a lot of talk today, eh, Paul? Let me see. So anyway, like I was saying, we're sticking with these uh, coastal areas, and it is taking us a very long time. We started at La Vera Beach um, on the southwest uh, corner of the map. This is basically the corner of the map for the beach area, at least. You can't get down uh, this shelf, uh, this mountainous plateaued shelf or whatever. Uh, that you cannot even climb up there. And then I don't know how far down in the desert. We're going to do desert stuff. Do not worry. I'm just trying to think. I think summer, if, if there was not a lot of beach areas in this game, what we would have done is shot the minimal beach areas and then probably started doing desert because I don't know when, I mean, I think maybe that's a good, like, I don't know what time, I mean, summer would be the most, the most ideal because it's so hot. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. That doesn't matter. Either way, started at La Vera Beach and we worked our way over to Puffer Beach, got some cool shots over here. Uh, and this is where our, our, our friend, the Deadly Guardian Sentry was posted up. Uh, and then we did a nice, prolonged, drawn-out battle with him all over the tide pools here, um, all over Puffer Beach. We got some really cool shots. Um, and like I said, that's what we're going to have to go through because I got so many. I got so many fucking cool shots. Uh, real bummer is that I think a couple of the real good ones that I loved, we did lose because I died... I died before I had saved, and whatever shots that we had taken were were lost to the ether. Uh, I'm actually very curious if there's still a save file somewhere on my system. Uh, this is something I've been bringing up a lot, trying to get these files off of my console um, to share and look at in a high quality way and i know there is a way on the wii u apparently i think it was a wii u i think that's what they said that I, I, if i'm not mistaken uh zelda breath of the wild on wii u there is a way to hack into the file structure or something and get those files get the image files out um but i've never i've just that was literally I, that was a from a comment on a question on like gamefac.com or something uh, and I don't have a Wii U. I have no way. And even if I did, I don't. I'm uh, not good at like getting into the files and shit. Like it's the, they're in the computer, you know. Can't just smash it. That's what I want to do to get inside there. Um. Regardless, we had to delete a bunch of these. Uh, and I'm bummed that the ones that I think a couple of the really good ones we lost. But anyway, regardless, doesn't matter. Uh, so we did our, our uh, obligatory self-portrait. Eh, not a particularly good one. Uh, very satisfying to finally take the, I think this is the Guardian uh, destructing, self-destructing, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that was very, very satisfying. Ooh. After taking the beating that I took, this guy beat me off so hard that I needed him to explode at the end. You know, that's what I wanted more than anything. Uh, and there it is. There's there's the explosion. There's the climax. It's happening uh, right in front of our eyes. Uh, but no, that's not a keeper. The explosion actually looks pretty cool. Uh, but it's like what else? It's like wow, an explosion and like a little bit of beach. Day. No, I didn't. I, don't, I didn't intend to keep that one. Okay. <laughs> These last sunset shots are freaking rad, and this moonshot, holy shit. So many of these, it's going to be so hard to pick between these, dude. It really is. Ugh. It's like, give me an unlimited camera roll, asshole. Fuck, they're all so freaking cool. And there's reasons to like each one and reasons to not like each one. 
Um, so anyway, the goal, uh, let's see, this last, this last cluster, this was a sunrise. This is the sunrise after we had died and then went back and shot the night cycle again and then waited till sunrise and got some more shots. I think we got some cool shots at sunrise. That was the bummer. We shot a cool couple cool moon shots and then we lost those and then we shot a couple cool uh sunset sh or sunrise shots and we lost those bum sauce um but anyway this cluster of the sunrise what we were really going for was a good shot looking down the beach with the guardian in the frame obviously um and this shot kind of doesn't meet that criteria because the legs of the guardian and that that one blue blue energy streak uh, going uh, to the bottom right corner of the frame uh, that's all obscuring the entirety of the beach. So the only thing about this shot that's cool in my mind is that I like that the the uh, sunrise is kind of blooming around the energy pulse going off from the guardian that looks kind of cool um but i would prefer something like that when the sunrise the entire bloom is in full uh view whereas here the left side we're not seeing any of the uh any of the highlight from that sunrise because we have that mountainside in the background, which is great because that's giving us some good contrast um, for that blue energy uh, uh, circle that's going off around uh, this guy's attack. Um, but uh, that's that's kind of would be a double-edged sword because we would need at least a mountain in front of the sunrise, but allowing you to see the sky so it'd have to be like a perfect mountainside just in the center of the frame or on one side of the frame or whatever placing the guardian right in front of that mountainside and then the sunrise being directly behind it to get uh, the highlight pop in the background that i'm talking about um, so i'll say this shot is a no-go because it does we are missing com almost completely missing the beach the sky looks great on the right side of the frame and the water looks great great timing on the guardian's shot but eh Again, compared to these ones that we can see the beach, like this one is freaking great, dude. This has to be a keeper uh, because this one adheres to pretty much all of my uh, requirements for this shot that we wanted and my compositional uh, requirements for all of the legs on this creature remaining in the frame. There's no no area of the enemy that's cropped out of the frame and that's great we can see all the way down the beach i'm seeing the palm trees lining the, the coast there's like a little bit of the sand blocked from the legs on the right side uh, but that doesn't bother me because we can still see the palm trees and down into the background further you know that that's a beach uh, that we're looking down you can see the water and there's plenty of sand in the foreground as well uh, to read as this guardian just chilling on the beach Sky looks absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'd say com in these compared in these two shots, I think I like this one better. This one is really cool, and we have the flying V up there in that top uh, center portion of the frame, just just coming across the mountainside. But that V is not fully uh, uh, fully separated from that mountainside. That kind of bugs me because we're not seeing its full shape. Uh, although the beach here, again, great view looking all the way down the beach, and those clouds look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if the flying V was completely in sight, that could have been cool. Um, I don't mind th that the Guardian is cropped uh, at that side. If, if something like this where it's like, obviously we, we meant to crop that much of the, uh, of the enemy out of the frame to open up the other side of the frame, that's great. Um, in this case, a piece of that for just, the just, just, just got me, Odell. Um, but again, go, compared to this one, where we're seeing the entirety of the Guardian, plenty, plenty more of the beach. I think is in the frame. 
I think it just looks cooler in general. And then again, it's a very similar shot. Both of them have their merits, I guess. This one, you can see more of those those beautiful arches, stone arches along uh, the, the, the southern side of the beach there. But, eh. Also, his claws are stacked up here. Like, I wish the claws, the, the two tentacle claws that you can see, I wish both of them were kind of separated from each other. So anyway, there's enough issue with this shot that I'm going to say no. Whereas this one, while it doesn't have necessarily quite as nice of a view looking down the coast uh, as that last one, it's better because we can see the full guardian. Um, no cropping. It's very well composed, in my opinion. I could probably have... I wouldn't have minded the frame riding the very edge of that far left claw, but it's also nice that all of them are in the frame. It is very difficult to maintain all of those in view tell you that so i anyway, love that shot this shot again very cool i also re in this one i really love the way that the claws coming down into the water and we're seeing a splash uh from that tentacle claw going into the water uh looks pretty pretty nice that sunrise is looking gorgeous it looks like he's kind of like frolicking in the water having a great time about to blast my ass um but again, compared to this one, it's it feels like the the timing is not quite right. The composition is not quite right. Here, I would have preferred him to have been placed on that further left side of the frame uh, once again to create contrast between the blue, beautiful energy pulses coming out of that attack uh, versus the dark side of the mountain there. So that that could have been great. Still a cool shot. Don't get me wrong. I fucking love that shot. But it, compared to this one, I would say this one's cooler because it tells more of the entire story that we're trying to tell, uh, which is Guardian uh, chilling on the beach, about to blast my ass. On this one, I probably could have tilted up maybe a little bit, just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't mind a little bit of that foreground sand, but there's so much in front of his body. Proper salt, man. Thank you. How you doing, Salty? Uh, oh, I hope that's okay. I call you Salty. Uh, if I ever call anybody anything they don't like, please let me know. I don't want to... I do not mean to offend. <laughs> anyway, good good to see you, buddy. Um, so, yeah, compar comparatively, I would say I'm still keeping this one. Dude, there's something in my eye or, like, in front. There's, like, an eyelash keeps popping in my... I'm going to have to go check that out in a second. Uh... Yeah, keeping the one with, the, with him fully in the frame. You can see the beach. The sky looks great still. Um, and like I said, the only thing I probably would have done here is maybe... Maybe had tilted up a tiny, 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 tiny bit. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Uh, but otherwise, pretty sweet. And this one, again, pretty cool. This one feels like I should have tilted up as well. It looks like he's... It's like there's so much foreground space on this shot. Uh... It's like, it, I was trying to catch that claw. That's what I was trying to do. But again, they're they're so frantic. It's hard to really tell where it's going to go. Um, but yeah, I still, in terms of those sunrise sequences, I think I like this one the best. Um, so no. Here he's not, again, placed up against the dark side of the mountain to create as much contrast as I would have hoped. Say no on that one. Um, love this moonrise shot. We fucked up. And died, and we lost. I think I had got at least one other moonrise, cool moonrise shot, uh, before I died and lost it on the camera roll. At least we have the video of doing it. You know what I mean? We got the video of us doing it. That's 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 a that's a that's something. That is something. Um, but definitely keeping that one because that I think currently is the best uh, moon shot. This is actually the moon setting. Uh, behind again these unnamed i think what did we call this either deval peak southern shell what did i say this was going to be called mount grenage southern shelf plateau or something like that um but you're watching where you the moon's just just setting it's either that or maybe it might even be deval peak or mount grenage proper i'm not it's actually really hard Really hard to tell sometimes. 
uh, without dropping a pin on the spot that we're looking at and then trying to or at least I'm really bad at judging. Maybe that's easy for other people, but I, I get I get very uh, confused trying to judge looking at the image what we're looking at uh, on the map. Um, anyway, really love that shot. Uh, this shot's pretty cool. This is the best shot we got with the keys in the frame. Trying to get some cool keys plus uh, guardian. I'm not going to keep any of these, though. I, none of them really. I mean, the, the guardian looks really cool, and I think a couple of these are pretty rad. Um, but it just, there's, they, none of them are like, wow, to me at least. None of them really, really stand out. Um, the timing on this one's great. But, eh. We can only keep so many of these. It's very frustrating, but it is how it is. Yeah, I don't think I want any of these key shots. None of them look bad, and I do really love the color. Especially, I mean, obviously, I think these only pop out at night. Uh, but they contrast very well. They're like neon uh, yellow, neon green, ultrasight green, ultrasight yellow. Um that stands out really well. And here as this, as it, when we had like, looks like there's still maybe a little bit of light in the sky. Cause the, s the moon's coming up, but the sun might not have been completely down. At least it kind of looks like there's still a little bit of light in the sky. Maybe not. Maybe I'm being crazy. Um, anyway, the colors are great. If, the, if like one of these shots could have been maybe really cool, but I don't know. There's it's a little too complicated with what's so much going on. So yeah, no, that's just not at the keys. That pose on the keys is pretty prime, though, right there. Say that. I will say that. Uh, I don't like the way that the laser terminates at the keys, though. Would have loved that red laser to have continued on through the frame. So anyway, no, 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 no keys, no key shots. Keys, those ones. Goodbye, Capitan. Um, this shot's pretty rad. I like this Lazalfos or uh uh. Stall is Fos. Why can I never remember everything's name? It's just never going to happen. It's just never going to freaking happen. Stall is a Stall is a Fos. Stall is Alphos. Stall is Alphos. They're Stall, which is the, the, the skeletal ver version of whatever. Wait, or is it Aphos? What is like the... I'm sure there's a way they... No, it's Stall. Stall is always like the prefix for the skeletized version of whatever it is, right? Where's like the Moblin? Stal Moblins. Uh, where's Stam? Where Stal Moblins? Stal Goblin? Stal Goblin? Stal Moblin? Right? Stal Lizafos. Try to remember all that shit. Um, I love this one, so I'm gonna save this for now. I think this is the only really good dual uh, image in terms of two sub to two two enemies attacking. Uh, and the moon looks pretty cool. I think the moon, it, the moon really does not look as good out of focus as it does when it holds focus. And our one frustrating thing that I would love to change is some way to just turn off the depth of field on the camera because it gets it get, it can it can really ruin a shot when you can't see the detail on the moon um, or the sun. It looks so much better when everything is in focus from uh, foreground to background. I'm an F64 type guy, you know, what can I say? Uh, but I, I am going to save this shot for now. It's probably, it is up for deletion. If the moon was on the right side of the frame, closer to uh, when it was rising, I mean, I think actually maybe that's not even, we wouldn't, that wouldn't have even been possible, actually. I think it was rising too far on the left side of the frame for it to have appeared in the sky in that nice blank area uh on the right top uh quadrant uh so anyway i think that alone kind of makes me not like this shot the more i look at it when i'm the moon is so obscured by both it's behind some clouds it's out of focus and it's competing and uh stacked up against the blue energy around uh the guardian uh, so anyway, up for deletion, maybe. Really loved these shots of the moon coming up over the... Um, uh, what I keep calling caves or arches. 
again, something I've told myself to look up, but I did not. So I apologize again for my geographical uh, ineptitude or uh, topo topographical, to to topographical, geographical, top topographical, whatever. I'm in I'm inept. Okay. Uh, I'm naval lint. Uh, these two verse each other. Now we got to decide between one of those two. Can't keep two of the same thing. It's just, it's, it puts too much strain on my psyche, you know? Um, they are both real cool and both have things I don't like about them. So this first one. Uh, you're going to hear me talk about these guys' claws a lot because I hate it when its foot is cropped out of the frame. If I tilted down, which I tried to I tried to adjust in the second shot, I tilted down uh, to get that claw on the sand in the frame and see that beautiful. I love the shape of the shadow uh, from the tentacles on the ground. Um, it flows well. The shape of those of those shadows flows well into the arms and then into the energy circles around the guardian. That all feels very, very fluid and uh, fitting, um, which also kind of mimics the shape of the uh, caves in or caves or arches, whatever on the right side of the frame. And obviously the, the circular nature of the moon, the rotund nature of that moon. Um, all similar shapes and and uh, very fitting. Um, so I don't like that the feet are cropped out here. Don't like that you can't see the shadow. So if I had tilted down on this one, I probably would have liked this one maybe a little bit more because I could have I see the see into those caves on that the right side of the frame, and also I think the energy pulse is at at a better point in the charge up cycle here, when we can see those, those blue beams coming um, out from uh, the epicenter, it's the laser beam. eye. Um, although I've been kind of debating that recently, like some of these shots that I get without those also look really, really cool. There's a few in here that we've got and I do not often, I think I'm going more for this and then I've accidentally got this a few times and I've enjoyed both. I also don't like how the blue, I wish, again, this one I could have tilted up a very slight amount. If the bottom, sh if the shadow of the uh, the tentacle arm was like a, there was like a sliver between that shadow and um, the bottom of the frame, I think that could have been a little bit better. And I don't like how the blue energy beam is kind of getting cropped a little bit, whereas here we have the full second circle uh, of energy in the frame. It's like basically both have. I, I like I I split the or I should have split the difference in terms of the tilt. Here I was tilted up too much. Here I was tilted down a little too much, and I should have just missed just split the difference between those two in terms of my adjustment to the framing. But you know, you know I fucked it up. I fucked it up, man. Uh, either way, I think I'm gonna save. I think I'm gonna save this one. Just because those claws getting cropped out of the bottom really bugs me. Also, there's really not much going on on the top of the frame, so I don't mind that we cropped down a little bit more. Like, I'd rather of us cropped down a little bit more and had all those hands and arms in the frame um, given a little bit less headroom for the moon, which, like, here it makes it feel, because of the headroom on the moon on this one, that full right corner... Um, has like no detail in the sky. I mean, there's a few little clouds, but because we tilted down here and now the moon is closer to the top of the frame, that makes it feel like the moon is higher in the sky, in my opinion, than in this one where it feels like it's rising, which, I mean, I don't mind that it would look like it's rising, um, but it, it just feels, it feels better to have it not quite as uh, low in the frame in my opinion. So yeah, let's save this one. Let's get rid of this one. Done. Done and done. God, it takes so long to go through these. Okay, this one with the fire, absolutely love it. I got to keep that one for now. Uh, this one's 
kind of cool, but it's like, eh. There's just like the caves on the right uh, don't look. I mean, I they look they look great, but like they they have because we're now we are now uh, beyond the sun setting in this one. This is our sunset sesh, um, looking on uh, looking west here. Thank you, Todd Howard. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Um, we, we've lost all the color in the sky in this one. We don't have much detail in those rocks on the right side of the frame. Sometimes there's the, there's some beautiful glowing light that it's obviously some sort of a, a graphical error actually because it's light shining through from the other side of that mountain or that plateau and that illuminates some of the cave structures, uh, some of those pillars. Um, 22, cool, cool tides, yeah. Uh, check it out, dude. By the way, I changed the chat. I mean, not you guys probably can't see this. You can probably change this for yourself, though, maybe on Twitch. Um, but I changed it. I can finally read the font, first of all. I don't know if you guys have noticed me trying to squint and read what you guys have said in the chat. Uh, but I opened my font up a little bit or raised my font, up, font size up a little bit. I can read it now. And I put a little timestamp so I don't have to ask how long ago you asked something because I can I can find out for myself. I'm s <laughs> I'm good at the game now, you know. Um, anyway, this shot anyway, not that great. Let's let's just delete it. Not that great, in my opinion. In my opinion. Now, uh, as opposed to this shot, which looks freaking baller. I love this shot. Absolutely love this shot. Um, even compared to this one, again kind of prime this is what i was talking about getting those uh unintentional non uh peak charge up this is like just before he shoots you get the fully uh now it's locked fully, in place <laughs> okay. thank you so really um, you say the oh fully God, uh, uh uh contained energy the the little i don't know what kind of uh would you call those those like errant beams or whatever that are coming out of its eye. It looks like those are kind of like, uh, there's a good word I'm looking for here. Um, they're out of control. Okay. It looks like these, like he's, he's like out of control. Those are like out of control energies, like spilling out that are not supposed to be spilling out. And then here he's like, or maybe that's, I think they're going out or are those going in. Those actually might be energy being sucked in. I should look at the way the trails are moving. Um, because it looked, I thought there was like electricity kind of like escaping out as he's trying to charge up, but it actually might be sucking and harnessing the energy in. I actually, I should look into that before I fucking make, make quotes about it. Um, but I like how clean the frame looks here without those things. It looked cool with them, no doubt. But then I got the one without and it's like, wow, the frame feels so clean It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect time uh, to get a little bit of that sunset glow. Maybe it would have been nice to have this a, like a, a few seconds or, or like a minute earlier. Would have been maybe a little bit more of a color gradation in the sky. Maybe would have had a little bit more light on the actual, uh, the actual sand itself. Maybe a little bit more light inside those arches in those caves. But um, I don't mind how subdued it is. That also adds, that's its own that's kind of adds its own flavor to the image is how subdued uh, a lot of the lighting is and then how much it contrasts with the bright, vivid uh, energy pulsing around the Guardian. Uh, probably could have tilted up a little bit more here, maybe a little bit more foreground space than I would have wanted. But I don't, I don't, you know what? I, maybe it would have been better to tilt down because there's not much going on in the sky and maybe having more sand would have been more fitting, but the horizon line is placed in a great spot, compositionally speaking. Um, so we'll leave that. So anyway, between these two, definitely keeping the one without that those gnarly energy uh, beams coming out of him. I also don't like it when you only like you have a couple leaving the frame like it is here. Like there's a there's like those three beams uh, leaving the right side of the frame, and that kind of makes it feel like you want to see the rest of them on the, or at least for me, it's like, ah, pan over a little bit to the right. Let's see where that looks. Um, whereas here again, everything in the frame that's necessary is contained in the frame. Also the tide pools look great. The little glow on them here. Beautiful. Um, 
uh, are cool people that work on submarines referred to as sub dudes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. They're actually, uh, they're, they're actually called seamen. We call them seamen. Uh, as you would in any seafaring vessel, you know, uh, sea people, sea people. Let's be, let's be progressive about it. Sea people. Uh, so anyway, yeah, delete that one. Saving this one. Oh, this shot's badass as fuck. Oh God, both these are so cool. You gotta choose between these two. It's it's actually really nice when you only have two to choose from, less to whittle down. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, okay. Oof, between these two. Oof. Well, we're 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 dealing with the, the the same claw issue. If I tilted down a tiny tiny bit, we would have had. Um, that left fore, forefront claw grip in the sand right at the edge of the frame, which would have felt real cool. Um, obviously, had I panned to the right to include the rest of the tentacle arms, I would have lost those little palm trees, which are adding so much to the frame. You lose those palm trees, you lose the, the shot is useless, in my opinion. Um, so you need those palm trees in there. Um, I think I like this wider shot. I mean, again, talking about those palm trees, it, he, in this shot, they're not obscured at all. Also, we can see a little bit of the tide pool in front of the palm trees, or a little bit better view on those um, tide pools, I would say. Um, the tentacles missing, though, don't bother me quite as much in this shot. I think because... Here we have so many, so many other things. I mean, in terms of those blue light streaks, they're kind of leaving the frame, so it doesn't feel that uh, strange to have the tentacle arms kind of cropped out a little bit as well. I mean, the same thing could be said here, but we don't have as much cropping on the on the tentacles. Either way, it just feels like he's filling the frame really nice here, and it doesn't matter if. Um, the feet are cropped out quite as much. Plus, we have the context of what those feet look like with that other tentacle foot in the background behind the one that's just cropped out of the bottom. So I think knowing that, you, you, your brain knows what you're going to be seeing. Had I tilted down, it's not as big of a deal. But still... Um, I wish, again, I wish it was kind of like a split the difference between these two shots. I like how close I am to the Guardian in this first one. But then I like the I also like the breathing room here. This could be a good panoramic, actually, because the basically the bottom 20% of the frame here could be cropped out. Um, and we could create a nice panoramic of just that center slice where we have the palm trees on the left and uh, Guardian on the right. I'm going to keep this wider shot, though, the wider of the two. I also don't like the way there's one energy beam that's cutting through those palm trees, and as those are very important, like I had said, um, I, think I'll, I think I'll stick with this one where they're not getting cropped. I do wish here that the blue energy was on the bottom left-ish. I, I think that those could have been fully going into the bottom of the frame and I don't I don't think I would have minded that as much. I kind of hate it when those type of uh either the laser beam from his eye, the red uh uh laser sight dot sight thing that it uses, a little tracking sight. Um when that terminates prematurely, it looks weird cuz it's like obviously a graphical thing. It's like it's not it's not the actual graphic ending where, where the ones on the top of the frame where you can see those ending you can see them coming to kind of like a point uh like an arrow shaped point whereas those ones on the bottom you can see a hard cut along where the graphic is just kind of stopping like it's not fully formed or at least that's how it looks to me uh Either way, whatever. So yeah, let's keep that one. Delete this one, even though I do really love that one. I do love both, but you gotta, gotta make these tough decisions. Yeah, gotta. Also, like between these two, they're very similar. I'm probably gonna have to delete. A, I'm gonna have to delete a few of these. Like no doubt. Oh God, there's so much to go through. So much to go through. 
Also, really have to delete one of these Talus shots. Talking about, talking about trying to pick between two of them. I think I like this second one. Let's just do that right now. Fuck it. I think I like this second one better. This is where I, I did. I did adjust for the compositional errors that I had noticed. I think it feels a little bit better. This the second one feels a little bit better. A little less of that rock arch, but you can see the arch plenty, I think. So yeah, let's just keep the second one. Even though this first one was just miraculous because I, I got it so fast. Um, or it was like a, the first capture of this type of shot. And then we played around with it and took a couple more. Fuck. I go back in my head about which one I like more. Whatever. Fuck it. I'm deciding. It's the second one. It's done. God, it's so hard to do. So hard to do. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some serious editing. Because, I mean, how many shots? Yeah, we have 14 to go on. But we want to really want to bring that back down. The more space, uh, the better, in my opinion. Uh, although it, it's not as big of a deal in this game, just because we can we can go back and uh, or we can the, everything pauses and we have a chance to edit uh, without the time changing or anything. So that's great. Um, view this shot's great. Let's see, sunny sunny beach shot. We're going to have to make a decision on these three. Well, this one is obviously facing east, and these ones are the ones facing western-ish direction. Uh, so between these western-facing directions, definitely this one where the guardian's closer. Look at the claw. That's what I'm talking about. I want to see that claw right in the foreground like it is doing on the bottom right corner. That looks really cool. Never want to crop those things out on the bottom of the frame if I can help it. Um, definitely this one where he's closer to the frame. Although I do like... I do like the way the palm trees look in the background on this this one versus this one where like there's just a palm tree getting cropped out. You can just see the fronds, palm fronds coming into the frame on the left. Uh, that's kind of dirtying up the frame a little bit. This frame feels a little cleaner, but no big deal. I should just pan. I could have panned to the left a little bit here. There's not much on the right side, and we're already cropping so much of that tentacle. I could have probably cropped in like 10%, opened up a little bit more space on the left for that palm tree to come back into the frame. Uh, but I fucked it up. Uh, but anyway, let's just keep that close. And I don't think I like either of these that much, actually. And anyway, we're just deciding between those two, because then we have this one, which I like this one, I think, a lot better. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, keeping the closer shot. And then between these two, which have a very similar vibe, basically the same type of shot. I think I like this one where we're actually looking more at a beach, looking at those caves. We're seeing more palm trees cascaded down the beach here. Um, we got those claws in the foreground, dipping its toes into the into the water. It's raising its 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 one claw. It's like ah oh, shit, I stepped on a sand crab. Ah oh, fuck me, I should have worn water shoes. Fuck. That's what it's saying. That's what this guardian is saying. Uh, both really cool shots though. Fuck. I think I like this one better though. Yeah, cause like it just. I like the, the I like the view of the beach. There's like the the tide pool rocks here along that uh, left third bottom left third of the frame. That's kind of blocking. Those are high enough to block what would be gorgeous looking tide pools along with the shrine that's right back there behind it. Uh, Shoka Tatone Shrine, as it would be known. Um, so yeah, let's keep this eastern facing shot. Delete this southern or the uh, western facing shot. God damn, it's going to be hard to... 
I got a whittle, dude. We're going to do some whittling. Hope everybody has plenty of coffee. It's going to be a long night. It's actually not true. We're going to end at 10. I always end at 10. Or I try to. Damn, this edit session is going to freaking take up way too much time. We got to move. Or I just had to start streaming earlier. That's what's that's what it's going to be, by the way. I'm slowly trying to start earlier and earlier. If you're if you're not familiar with the beginning streams that we did, I was starting at like 1030 or later West Coast Pacific time. Uh, and then I whittled it down. I started doing it at 730. And then eventually I think I'm going to start at like 6 p.m. Um, so we have a longer window to play. I just I definitely want to end at 10 p.m. It gets too late. I get way too tired ending and trying to go past 10. So I'm really trying to limit, at least put a limit on it at like 10 p.m. Definitely try to wrap up. So starting earlier, hopefully that works out for more people that actually want to see this. Um, but you know what? Don't hold, don't hold me accountable. It's not like it's everything is to do with me and it's all my choice. Don't hold me accountable. Uh, this key shot, I do really love it. But at the same time, I think here, I was talking about how the keys, they, they do look great at night. I think their coloring is perfect uh, to match the color at night. Here, uh, I think the color is actually very off compared to the beautiful sunrise color and the sun, uh, just the sunny beach vibe that we're going for. It doesn't feel right to me. So maybe for that reason alone, let's delete it. Maybe we'll get some more keys. Maybe at the during the night cycle on on tonight's stream, maybe we'll have better opportunities to get some some more nighttime electric keys. Shock me like an electric keys. Peace. Um, yeah, this shot's real fucking rad, dude. I'm in love with that one. I love this one too. These are all really cool. These are all really cool shots. Uh. This one, let's delete this one. I think a, a lot of the landscape shots, unless it's something that I really, really like and feel is like really special. I mean, nothing is that special about this. Sh I mean, it is beautiful. And uh, in terms uh, giving kudos to the game designers, wow, this game is so full of great photographic opportunities. Like, thank you very much, Nintendo. But in terms of what I added to it, my addition, which is the timing on the capture, not much was really that hard to do here. I can come back, wait for approximately this time of day, and get this shot pretty easy. I don't need, I don't need to. T it was nothing I was really waiting for. The one thing we were waiting for was um, that little puff of cloud on the other side of that palm tree between the palm tree and the uh, 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 dead guardian or the uh, rotting rusted guardian corpse there. Um, that's the only, that's the only element that was like specially added time wise. So I think I got to try to delete these ones again to make room for the shots that are way, way, way more difficult to achieve uh, consistently. So yeah, let's delete that one. Maybe I might keep like one or two of those type of shots because we again we do want to keep like a kind like a good summer vibe going. As is our intention uh for these summer type shots. Um but for the most part, I'm gonna try to delete like the ones obviously with the moon. If, the, if it's like a great one, I really love this shot, so maybe we'll save that one. This one is, this one's kind of cool. Maybe I should have saved. I was like, oh, let's save one, one good summer type landscape shot. And I think that one of the, that I just deleted might have been the better one to save. Cause like this one, I don't know if I like it as much as the other one. Although this one is pretty gorgeous. Obviously, this is just looking through that archway on the right here once the, the moon was going down. Um, Let's save, fuck, dude, there's so many. Maybe we can save everything now. Maybe we can, we have, we have 18 shots. That doesn't sound like enough. That doesn't sound like enough to me. 
I think I like at least 20 to start with. I think that's a good starting point. So maybe let's whittle. We got three moon shots here. And I think I had said this is one is the most up for deletion. What made this one special was that Lizalfos um, teaming up. And I think it subsequently got taken down by the Guardian. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's a great shot. Don't get me wrong. It's just like deleting this versus these ones that have such a cooler landscape aspect. Like I'm really holding on to the fact that that Lizalfos is there. Otherwise, otherwise these other two shots are basically just as good and or better. Although, again, that Lizalfo, that does add a quite a bit. And also, this is all the only of those three that have the full Guardian in view. There's no cropping to any of the limbs or any of the port, any portion of the uh, uh, Guardian. But the moon is kind of in a fucked up spot. Again, it's getting obscured. Great timing on, on the uh, energy, though. A lot of those beams going off. Um, but the fact that the Lizalfos is in there is like makes it that much more of a complicated shot to have have achieved. This one also is kind of I don't know, man. Maybe this one of the fires not as. I thought this one was kind of interesting because we do have the two Stalk Oblins. One of them's putting its head back on it. It just finished putting its head back on. Maybe I'm tied to this one too much. Like that fire is maybe not as cool as I thought. Fuck, this takes way too long to do. I got to learn how to speed up these editing processes. Um... Also, I do like the way that the between the Lizalfos, the uh, Guardian, and the Moon, those three elements create a nice triangle between the three of them, which is great. But <sighs> I love this cave one. I love that cave one. I do like that one too. I kind of want to delete two of these and only save one, though. I think I'm going to save. I think I'm going to save this one. Delete this one and delete that one. Even though, you know what, to be honest, this one, it's like maybe I'm tying myself too much to this one because these ones you can see the beach more. These ones, you can see the palm trees more. This one, it might not, you know, for all we know, this could be a desert. This might, this doesn't even really read as a beach necessarily. Like I, I know it's, I know it's a beach, you know, it's a beach, but these ones, we have the water in there. We have the palm trees. So maybe it's one of these and not this one. As cool as this one is. I think there's just something about the landscaping here that is not as interesting as it is in these shots. <whistles> Fuck, I could sit here, I could sit here, I could go back and forth in my head over and over telling myself I like one versus the other and trying to convince myself I like it for whatever reasons. But yeah, I think the truth of the matter is, like, as cool as this one is, I think it doesn't fit our our prototype. It doesn't fit our vibe quite as much as I want it to. So let's just delete for that reason alone. Let's delete that one. And then between these two, which are very similar shots... Um, 
I like this one. You can you got the shrine in the background. We got the moon in the background. There's those birds flying up in the sky, which are probably very difficult to see on anybody else's screen. Um, also, this is the opposite direction of this one, whereas it would basically be the same shot here, one at night and one at day. And it'd be nice. It'd be cool to have these two back to back, and then we don't need that one. So let's go for that. Let's keep this one. Let's delete this one. Bye bye, Lazolfos. You look, you look cool, man. That was really cool that you popped in there. But yeah, let's keep that one. Um, and then I think this one with the fire. I, I do really love it when we have that element of fire in the frame. I've kept, I think, a couple. From like way, way back in the day. Way back in the day. Um, or at least that one. It was just that one. This one is is v v approaching deletion territory for me as well. As much as I do love it. This was during our trying to get... I think we were trying to hang out around the castle for Halloween. This is our Halloween type shots. You can't even see the castle in this shot very much. Like, I like this one way better than this one. And the only thing that's adding uh, adding to this is the fire in the frame, which is why I came back to it. I thought that was kind of cool. And then also um, that uh, 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 Stalnox, right? Stalnox. Stalnox. They're usually a Henox. After fucking skeletized their Stallies. Um, but I think if we... Spent time. We can come back, maybe, and that's what we will probably do if we're still doing. If if Breath of the Wild two doesn't come out and I get into playing that, um, we we will probably come back to this spot during Halloween, and and we can we can attempt a better shot like this. Same with this one. I would love. Knowing what I know now, and and having having done this a little bit, we could probably get this shot in even in an even better way. Um, so anyway, yeah, this one. Look at that. I mean, this one's super low contrast. There's all this low contrast because we're at night, um, and I think it's also just bad weather at night. It's a mix between those two things that can really fuck up um, the overall contrast of the scene. Overcast plus nighttime, no bueno. It also just might be this particular area, I think, is kind of, uh, because we're around the castle, I think at night maybe it's a little bit more cloudy in that spot, maybe. I think it doesn't always stay clear. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, so, yeah, let's just delete that one, dude. Now that we've gone back to it, fuck it. Um, love this shot. Love this shot. I wish he was charging up his attack here, but maybe that's what makes this one special. This is a great example of how... The moon being in focus is way better. I mean, that looks gorgeous and, and compared to this one, although it's not as big of a deal if it's a uh, crescent moon because the crescent shape still... Uh, let it, A crescent moon reads way better out of focus than a half moon or full moon, in my opinion, because with these, you really want to see the texture on the moon itself, whereas the... the uh, crescent moon you're not going to see very much texture anyway because it's a crescent it's a little sliver uh, and seeing its shape is all you really need so the fact that it's out of focus is not that big of a deal here we this here this time the moon's in focus love this shot of these choo-choos we have like a bit of a choo-choo uh portfolio happening here here's our flaming choo-choo fire choo-choo Regular choo-choos, and then what's our... I think I had one more. Didn't I have one more choo-choo somewhere? Could be wrong. Could be wrong. It uh, doesn't matter. Um, the fire looks cool here, but other than that, I mean, again, I think the landscape... You can see those palm trees on the right side of the frame. We're completely missing any beach front vibe, though. Other than those palm trees being in there, you can't see any water. I probably could have tilted up a little bit here and had 
a better composition maybe i think like the guardian's a little bit too high in the frame really cool shot though don't get me wrong i love that shot uh, but i think it's also a little too convoluted there's like a little bit too much going on like those those stock goblins might as well not be there because you can't i i think they're too small in the frame to see um, the background is a little complicated to let any of them stay also to let those those elements stand out there's no texture in the sky so yeah let's just delete this one bye 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 um and then then i think in that case it's like these ones are pretty these are, are up for deletion i think we can get these shots these sunrise and sunset shots we can get pretty much any time. Although it is, I do like being able to flip back and forth between these two uh, times a day. That's kind of fun. But like, is the fun really what you're looking at for here, Paul? Or is great photos the one what you're looking for? Um, <sighs> the shooting star shot, fucking love it. I'm hoping we get, we got it. I I really hope we can get another uh, fallen star fragment shot at the beach that would just be whoo but the luck i mean the luck i had here we were sitting here trying to compose the shot and it just fell into our frame so i think i lucked out on that one um what other shots am i like eh i do really want to shoot these labyrinths again I kind of want to keep this as a reminder to shoot the labyrinths, though. That was, like, my thing. This is the only Blood Moon shot, the decent, the best Blood Moon shot that we've had, so I really want to keep that. I, I kind of want to go back and get a better shot of this in the Colosseum Ruins. I love this shot, but I think we can get it even better. It's just that's our second shot on our roll. This one's, like, kind of meh. It's a fallen star fragment, right? But it's like, eh. God, it sucks how limited my space is here. Um, this one's really fucking rad. Although this one, it's like, I don't know. It's like, can you even tell what's going on? You know what I mean? I think if you... Seeing the video of this, it feels great. And then you kind of know what has happened. But outside of that, it doesn't really. I think if you had seen this with no context to what's happening, this would be like, what? What is going on? So let's just delete that one. And we're going to go back. I'd like to fuck around with those um, explosives there. That was actually really fun. A fun challenge. God. And then eventually... I mean, eventually I'm going to have to decide, like, maybe save one or two of these guardian shots, ultimately. Like, one moon, one moon shot, and one sunny shot. I think that might be what we end up doing with those. But I think we whittled it down enough. I think we have enough. We got, like, we, we got our 20-shot quota. We have 23 shots. Um... So I think we're ready to go. Let's save before I fucking die and I have to do everything over again. Um, I also really need to cook some food. So let me go do that really quick. Yes, I probably should have done that uh, before, before jumping on the stream. Didn't have time. So now we all get to hang out while we do it. Just make a couple heart replenishment items and uh, some defense buffs easy breezy we'll just keep it simple do wish there was a way is there no way to batch cook I don't think there is uh, first of all let's just take note of what's happening make sure there's no dragon flying in the perfect spot for a good shot or something what time of day is it anyway? 9 a.m.? So that must be supposed to be the moonlight then over there. Or I'm sorry, this that must be the sun. Um, where would the sun be right now though? I mean, I can see my shadow, right? So it's, yeah, that's the sun right there, okay. Um, 
Er, yeah, nothing, nothing special. Let's just let's cook. Cook our items. Also, what is in? What's in here? Take all your shit. What is that? What's that, huh? You wanna know what that is? Freaking you getting hit with a barrel, loon. You are crazy, aren't you? I wonder if that was intentionally named because she's like obsessed with. She like loves the guardians, right? Oh yeah, I showed you guardian. Um, I'm just gonna create some hardy Duran cookups. Oh wait, you can skip. Okay, that is a good. There we go. That's at least gonna speed things up a little bit. How did I not know that? Yeah. 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 How many do we want? I should count. Let's count how many. How many have we in our. Uh, in our inventory? Where am I going? What am I doing? What are you doing, dude? One, two. Uh, sort, sucker. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just do three more of those. Lucky number 10. It's the luckiest, it's just, you know, it's like, so, so many things come in tens. My girlfriend's a 10. Okay. Tell you what. 10,000? Compliments. Uh, again, how many? Is that three? I got. I lost track because I started thinking about my girl. We get two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Uh, now I just want some defense buffage, which again should be very simple because we're just gonna do. Damn, I might need to do like a real long. Um. A real long session and what is also the best way to do it prime and three is that what we like to do I try to do the basically the minimal amount of ingredients for a full three nope two stars do you need a full five how do I not remember this kind of shit it's probably a good good idea to have like a cheat sheet I know you can do five iron shrooms and that'll do it I just don't want to use like all my iron shrooms and I can use there's a, I mean, there's more, more defensive items that we can do. Armored carp, armored porgy. Um, I think you need five of. Let's see, it's do, do four defense and one prime meat. Is that gonna do us? Do us a service. I have not really been. Yeah, they've been cooking. They've been cooking. Okay, so that's three minutes and fifty seconds at three. Um, but I still think it'd be better to do one, two, three. If you do all, um, all the defensive increased. Oh shit! Also, why don't skip? Skip you doofus. Yeah, four, ten, three. I think that is the best that we can get without using. Um, one of the sp our special items. I'm not going to use any of those unless I look up what, what I'm getting myself into. Uh, bright eyed crab, iron shell crab. Let's do like a seafood skewer. Seafood and one mushroom. I, I fancy myself to have a very large amount of stuff in my inventory, but like uh, 18 iron shrooms, that doesn't sound good enough to me. I might need to do a full uh, gathering session sometime. Okay, I don't need that many of these. Let's, uh, ooh. Oh shit, what was that combo? Or was that random? I know, wait, what time of day is it? There are times of, isn't it like if you cook at midnight or something? 
you get a better thing. I also don't remember what I just put in there. Is this the... No. Is that going to be the same thing? 410. No. I think it can randomly give you a higher quality food. Okay. Uh, so we have a couple stamina ups. We got plenty of heart replenishments. And we got... We have plenty of defense. Yeah. Let's just do... Actually, I do want to do just like a couple more heart replenishments just to... Um, just to get ahead of the game a bit. And yes, we can skip the animation, dude. Come on now. See, these don't matter if they're better or worse. A single cooked item is going to fully recover our hearts, plus give us an extra heart, which we don't need. And I know I've been saying, remind me to... Um, let's save, even though it did autosave. Um, I've been saying I want to go swap my... Uh, max stamina for um, or I mean I want to maximize stamina versus maximizing my hearts laser claw give me some more iron shell crabs dude okay we shot this whole section of the beach I'm gonna grab the crab dude there we go I need those there was one kind of cool shot that we got trying to get it we tried to get a cool shot of uh the shrine itself here and the, one of those crabs is walking by i actually like that shot and i was trying to grab a clip from it but i couldn't find it ancient screw screw you too pal uh octorock do we want to try to get an octorock shot no Octoroks, well, I'll try to do one, but it's like, they just are so, they're so unsightly. It's actually more that they just don't have a very good pose. Like, maybe in the, like, once they're out of the water, let's actually place the beach. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Oh, fucker. <laughs> ah. Uh, there's like a very it's like after he shoots he looks the best like for the split second after he actually oh hey that's the shot got it let's do a long lens with him I've been also been saying let's like try some more longer lens stuff which is not easy because usually if it's, a, if it's an enemy attacking us ah look at those little birds they're like the parrots that don't have a name. Or do they? They probably do. I just don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, you got to get the shot. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. What do I want to compose with some of these palm trees? See, like, that's what we have to go for in terms of the timing. It's after he's shot his rock. Uh, Octo rock, of course. After he shot the rock, he'll for fully form again. He deforms to, like, spit out that rock. Also, where the fuck is he getting those things? I guess, presumably, he goes back underwater to grab another one? I'm not going to keep... This is not... I mean, the time of day right now sucks. Let me get that core rock in there, too. You know what? I know I said I wasn't going to save any of these. I'll save that one. He's he's actually put he's placed that the, the dark background that he's placed in front of that looks great makes him stand out amazing um, Plus we have the the Korok on that top left side of the frame. Hey, you got the palm trees in there. Hey, it's a tide pool Keep old picture for sure. Ooh, dude. Let's get a better compendium shot right now. Let's just do that really quick uh, What's up? Westerosis Westosaurus Westosaurus I thought, no way, this guy is doing Breath of the Wild photography, and there you are. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you saying that. I, uh, this game is absolutely gorgeous, and it is full of photographic opportunities. I have been having a lot of fun doing this. Um, for instance, right now, let's get a bit. I want to get a better shot for the compendium because that Octorok shot, shot sucks. And what I want, again, time wise. 
is that that face right there. I got to get a little bit closer. Um, thank you. Hey, I really appreciate that, buddy. If you like it, you know, you hopefully you'll you'll enjoy the rest of the show because this is this is what we do. Already, that's a better shot, by the way. Um, oh fuck! It's gonna be hard to get him off. Maybe it's like right when he pops up. No, see, that's when he's distorted from the. Also, let's not. Ooh, I meant to go get some fairies too. Let's not die. I probably actually have. Yeah, all these are charged, right? So I should be okay. Um, thank you. Pack some more stuff, pack some more. Um, let's see if this. Oh, okay. That might be a decent. Yeah, that's okay. I think he's a little too far away. I'd like to. F I would love it if he filled that entirety in of the of the box. But also, maybe it's kind of funny that that rock is about to hit me in the face, though. Now we'll just keep that one, and then I'll stick with that for now. Okay, enough of that octa rock. We didn't even need to spend. We've done this portion of the beach already. Uh, let's keep moving. We shot. Yeah, we shot all through here. We really want to get down to the Como shoreline further. Uh, do you have a favorite photo so far? Well, you missed. We just did uh, the way the way we usually run things is um, I'll do my edit at the beginning of a stream to filter whatever uh, shots from the last previous stream. Um, so you missed like the first hour. This previous stream was like especially intense because we did a long, um, a long, a long, long, long term shoot of the guardian that was uh, guarding Puffer Beach. As I'm speaking to you, I'm trying to, I'm, I would try to decide one of which one of these would be my favorite, which would be very difficult. So, this is the shot. This is our last previous stream we, we spent. The entire entire stream trying to grab these shots of uh, the Guardian Stalker of Puffer Beach. I actually don't know if technically he would be a Puffer Beach Guardian or a Como Shoreline Guardian. Maybe it's both. Maybe the Puffer Beach is on the Como Shoreline. I don't know. Um, those geographical Nintendo dudes. Uh, so from the pre, so I will. By the way, I do call out usually at the end of every stream. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, and I think what you mean to say uh, is, wait for it, wait for it, because I'm Beautiful. not doing well. <laughs> I'm not a quick typer. Um, desktop wallpaper call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one thing I've been talking about offering uh, here, wait, uh, Westosaurus, by the way, if you, well, first of all, if you are enjoying the stream, <laughs> consider following. Um, but then second of all, uh, we have a really awesome Discord community and um, there is a section on there for game photography. And at some point, I've been talking about this for a while and I know I don't have it set up yet. And this game in particular is very difficult to um, export the images. There's no way to do a full screen, clean capture of the images. The only way I can get these images is from a still uh, from the video feed. Yes, I know I can do. I can do the. Um, I can do a capture of the screen again. It's just a screenshot. It's and this is not a full frame image. There's no way to blow this image up. So the resolution is crap. There's also this weird distortion that's rolling over from the Sheikah slate constantly. Uh, so as I've talked, as I've mentioned, I will one day for a edit session, I will bring in these video feeds. And what I can do is crop each section as that distortion is rolling through you'll see there's like some some areas that are very less or much less distorted and that kind of is like a, a flowing distorting effect and i could crop out strips 
as that's rolling along, cut out the strips where there's no distortion, put that together, and I would get a clean image. That is just so much fucking work. Um, and I've been really hoping that there's going to be some kind of update or something. Yeah, future fun. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's a lot of work, right. Whereas our other game that we're playing heavily right now and t doing photography in is Fallout. And in Fallout, it's extremely easy because there's a it, it's it's full full frame full screen clean image output that i can get i mean i can literally what's great about um my ps5 actually uh is that it's saving an individual image to my on my internal hard drive every time i take a photo so i don't need to edit just to get the image off the the console um, there has to be a way to get them off the save data. Hey, if you know of one, let me know. Cause I dug into it and it does not seem like it, unless I'm on Wii, uh, what I've mentioned before as well on Wii U, I have seen a single, a single, uh, thread post about somebody who on Wii U knew of how to dig into the file data and find the folder that saves each one of these captures, but that's on Wii U and I'm on switch. So I'm out of luck there unless there is a, a separate way, but I am inept with uh, that kind of thing generally. So uh, if it's not in game and ready to go, it's just very complicated, but yes, I, I do want to, what, what I would like to offer with these images would be people being able to download them and use them for screensavers or whatever you want. Eventually I would love to uh, offer prints that people uh, could purchase. If you want a cool print, uh, in fact, it was very disappointing. I was much more excited about creating prints in Zelda um, than in Fallout because uh, very few people really care about Fallout as much as they do about Zelda. Uh, but like the idea of, of a great photo of like Hyrule Castle that I could offer for somebody to, to, to print, um, that, yeah, would be freaking rad. But again, in this game, I don't know how, like they would have to be postcard size for the resolution to meet the requirements for the printing. I mean, like this is cause this is not even, I, I believe I'm pretty sure switch is 1080. I'm only getting 1080 out of the switch. Then I'm, I'm having to crop in like, that's like a good 50, 60% West of Thank you. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Got to show respect. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope I don't disappoint you. I hope you have fun. Sit back, relax. Let's let's shoot some photos. Um, I I will definitely yeah. I, I'm I'm figuring out how I can offer that. And also, if you know if you're not, you might not be around till the end. We usually try to wrap things up around 10 p.m. West Coast time here. Um, but if you are not, I'm not trying, not trying to get you to give me money. But on the Patreon, I have I have uh I think I've spoken a little bit more, and tried there to offer Shut yes up, bitch. uh tried to offer downloadable options on the patreon but that isn't even the best way to do it there's i just haven't figured out how to go about this i'm relatively new to doing this i started doing this about a year ago now i've been actually definitely over a year ago i meant to actually find one my when my uh join the stream don't forget to follow uh I wanted to see what my uh, anniversary date of the first stream was, but I, I didn't do that in time. So, oh well. Um, but yes, I would. I will definitely. I'm doing. I'm doing my best. Uh, uh, oh my god, dude! Thank you, Crazy Salt Man. You 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 freaking rad person. Um, dude, I got some cool people out here. I gotta say, everybody's been so nice gifting subs and. It really warms my heart when I see that happen. So thank you very much. Um, slight, slight uh, change of pace for a second. I was at the store buying a bottle of whiskey, uh, of course, and um, for Photography Friday. Um, and uh, that's an Argus camera, by the way, Westosaurus, if you're not familiar. We do a lot. The, a lot of what we do in Fallout is based around that, um, uh, that particular camera, actually. Let's just throw this up here. We have a whole, there's a whole fallout 76 is like, there's a huge photo centric side of that game that I've, I've fallen in love with like drastically. Uh, 
And a lot of it has to do with the fact that the game camera that we use to shoot with is based on this real life camera that I own a couple of the Argus C3. There's a couple hanging around here. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that too much because that's what for photography Fridays tomorrow is going to be all about. Um, needless to say, that little image icon is the Argus cameras is big. Um, and then that's the website with our photography that we do in Fallout 76. Very different than what we do here on, in uh, Zelda, but still pretty cool. Um, regardless, I, I do want to get these up and available somewhere to download. Actually, probably it's going to be a Paxmore Gary question. I know you two are savvy with that kind of stuff and, and, and it will eventually help me <laughs> figure out where I can, where and how the best way to get downloadable things for people. I mean, I'm sure I could just put them on a zip file or something and get them on, on page. I just don't know how other people can act like where to put them up to download and access and the best, uh, best way to do that. So we're figuring it out, but stay tuned. And I promise I will get some better content. So as we were saying, we were asking about favorite photos. Um, I do call out at the end of a stream. I will call out my favorite photo of the day. Um, as I like to call a pro snap pick, although that's more photo or uh, fallout photography centric, but, um, my favorite shot of all time. And here's what's, here's what sucks as, as time goes on my, like love of any of the images that I've taken, it, 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 it diminishes like drastically. So like I, they just get old to me. So like I start, I start just like not enjoying the shots quite as much. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to say, ah, God, see, I know this shot. Okay. This shot is not the best guardian shot I've ever had. Um, but Look during, yeah, <laughs> course. um, re, uh, this isn't the best guardian shot. It's not my, it, it, it's, you know, I know it's not my favorite guardian shot necessarily, but this day, actually, you know what? This shot too, though. This shot, this day was the first time I like realized how much I enjoyed shooting in this game in particular and how much fun and how much potential it had, how much of a challenge it was going to be. Because this was, the, I think this is the first time we really fought a guardian head to head and walked away with a, with a cool shot. And it was like the first time where I was like including uh, a really rad background element. We have the silhouette of Hyrule Castle just beyond that broken wall. Um, we have this imposing, daunting enemy about to fire its laser. This is also, I think, the first time that I caught this timing on that charge up attack at like just the right moment. Um, and it felt so great. And I realized again, the challenge of timing all this stuff and, and moving, getting everything, moving all the elements in the frame and getting them all into place. I really fell in love. Uh, so I will say it's this shot for that reason, but like, I mean, I absolutely, this was like one of the first really cool shots with the moon in the frame and an enemy that I got, even though this one also is starting to feel really basic to me, but it, I still think it looks really freaking cool. Um, this shot, I really fell in love with. Uh, these are all the best of the best, like whittled down because these are all months and months old. Like we, we started doing these beach shots in June. We waited until, uh, summer properly had started the summer solstice and uh so all these previous shots are going back you know week after week obviously um but like this is one of the first streams like this might have even been last year at this point uh and like i think i said earlier we're gonna go back i'd like to do this exact same location again and try to get an even better shot more similar to that because i do have i have issues with this image i definitely have issues with it thank you thank you very much uh again hope i don't disappoint after after i've built up there are days where like i do not walk i mean i haven't even shot anything today yet so uh I mean, when we shot that Octorok, we shot this Octorok, which is a bullshit shot. I said I didn't even want it, but then I shot it, I took it, and I was like, well, we got to keep something today. Um, 
but like also I'm getting better at timing the attacks on these guys and 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 learning the ins and outs of what we can do. Um, so I think I mean it's only I think we're only going to start getting better and better shots. I do also really love this shot uh, of the igneo talus with the moon rising behind that arch. I really do love this shot. Um, when this popped, when this came, then when this shot came together, when I saw that moon rising up just under the arch, and then igneo talus rose up out of the ground. And I was like, oh, my God, please let this happen. And then it, it, we, we got a, a sweet shot. Although this isn't the first shot we took of that sequence, but that was the best compositionally. I actually had deleted just, just earlier. I deleted the other shot that was similar to this. Um, anyway, let's go, let's go shoot some photos, dude. I, I, like I said, I try to wrap things up around 10, so it does not look like I'm going to get too much time. Uh, although maybe I'll push it a little further. We'll see. We'll see. Um, like I said, we shot all along here already. This is all... We just went back to cook some food. What's up, Korok, dude? Uh, we, we went back to cook some more foods. Yes, I'm completely unarmored because I'm on the beach, you know? Link wants to feel the water on his feet, you know? Link wants to feel the water along his body. Uh, we defeated... Let's see. We are... This is where the Guardian was, and obviously it's not there anymore. So, yeah, I don't know if it's technically... I mean, this could all be Como Shoreline, and Puffer Beach could be part of Como Shoreline? I, I don't know how they determine that geographically in these games. Um, this is also, like, the worst time of day. What are we at? We're at, like, noon. Um, yeah, it's 1.45 p.m., the clouds suck. This is what I was saying. I hope I was hoping. Now that you popped up and you think this is great, I was hoping I'd, I'd get to some cool content creation, some cool photo stuff. Um, but it's just not. I guess we could do that. I don't want to do that, Lazalfos. Do I? Let's go see what's over here. Again, we kind of shot most of this area. I want to keep moving south. The whole point of the summer time vibe that we're going for we are trying to stick we're going to walk all along the coast all up through here all along the coast that's my that's my plan but i mean we've been doing this for about a month now so we've had four weeks although i have had two weeks that i took off i did like a little summer break of sorts i'm not going to do too many more of those i'm sorry everybody <laughs> for spending so much time i also my studio like i said this is all a, a new uh kind of a new thing and so like my studio setup here is a, in constant flux and changing and so i took some time off to set up my new lighting system and shit but um anyway i will not take off too much more time but we've only been doing this for, we've done doing this for four weeks and we only got we only got this far and i mean there's so much more beach to do uh, maybe we'll go into, maybe we'll go into fall doing some more beach stuff. I don't know. You can still go. It's in, we're in California. We can stay at the beach as long as we want, you know, <laughs> get to work. I know. Okay. Keep going. Let's shoot. Um, uh, it probably would have been, wouldn't have been a bad idea to, um, rest until a better time of day. Um, uh, but you know what? The time cycle goes by so fast in this game. It's not that big of a deal, I would say. And we are going to quickly come up to sunset uh which could be cool okay so here's some more arches and caves that i would love i would love to include as much as possible let's just take evaluate this area really quick some of vibes some of times um oof, okay Looking over towards what would be like Uboda Point just above Martha's Landing right here. That's a really cool view. And then looking through this arch on that side is pretty rad. I think once the sun starts going down, we could probably pop over here and grab a sweet landscape shot like that. Maybe try to pull this Lazalfos over. Maybe that Lazalfos might give us some interesting subject to add. 
that might be kind of cool. Uh, it's like there's really no point in trying to shoot right now until this until this overcast fog blows over. But I don't know. The, the weather changes pretty quick. So actually, let's try. First of all, let's try to get... I like these the look of these Lozolfos in this cave right here. Maybe we can get something like this once those guys are are attacking me maybe grab ooh yeah coming over there so we can see through all the way like that something like that that could be sweet let's get both these guys involved although they have they do not have the best items i mean we don't i just don't like spears spears are so hard to compose with okay now the color's changing okay i'm glad i pulled those guys now Okay, also, whew, okay. Once I get into combat, I'm putting back on... <laughs> I'm going to put back on armor. That's as, as, as fun as Link is having in the sand. He's having some fun. We're not going to not gonna do that. We're my sand shoes. Still not sure if these actually make me faster on the beach sand as they do in the desert, but that's fine. And then let's do just some, like, heavy defense upper... Heavier defense upper type stuff. I'm only gonna be taking damage. That is. Oof. There we go. Ooh. Okay. I gotta get the shot as he's pulling that thing out of the ground, though. Tilt up, pan to the right a little bit. Oh, fuck. Oh, and that one leaping. Dude, if I tilt it up and then panning to the right actually bone me. Because now his this is what I'm talking about. That spear. It's so hard to compose them in the frame. And they're so easy to get lost. Whatever. Now that guy's doing his downward attack. So we'll have a second attempt at... Oof. No, fucked it up because it took too long. Um... Also, the sun set is starting to look real cool. Let's pull these guys in here. I want to keep them into this. Uh, keep them composed with uh, these awesome cave rock structures. And if I can pull them here, this is probably actually the prime spot. Wait, what? I'm still here, dude. And then also, as we're overlooking this direction, the, the uh, sun or the moon should be popping up. Gotta not delete too many though. We have plenty of space. Oof. That's not bad. Again, spear. Fucking me over. I don't like it when they're cropped out of the image. And also, it might be a good idea to just try to get one of these guys instead of um, two of them. Also, let's just make it easy. Let's make it easy to take this one guy out. Uh, with our freaking ancient guys. No loot, but I do not care. Okay, yeah, let's compose this one golden, much more fitting color. Here we go. No, terrible. Oof. Not bad. Again, though, that spear just getting cropped out of my frame. And is he not going to do any kind of water or... There we go. Tilt up a tiny, tiny bit, maybe. Oh, no, he's spitting water. I don't know if I like that he's spitting water or not. Okay, do your little... Oh God, it's so like it's so hard to anticipate where the edge of that thing's gonna go. I just have to. I just gotta make sure I leave it. Let's also get him. Also, we said we wanted to get this shot. Maybe we can pull him over here now before that sun goes away completely. No, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah. And the moon's gonna come up like right here. Me. 
not bad. I'd rather him be placed on that left side where the rock is uh, devoid of any cool elements and not block the that beautiful little pond. Ooh. Hey, we got a flying V at that top top corner, top right side of the frame. His his leap is kind of strange looking, but I'll say that for now. Oh, I would have should have timed that tongue attack, dude. Okay, and here's another problem with those spears uh, we always talk about. If it's pointed directly at my lens, on axis with my lens, or with my Sheikah slate in this case, um, you can't really see the entirety of the pole, and that just it makes the weapon look really strange. Like that is. You can't really tell what the fuck he's holding, in my opinion. So if it is a long pole weapon like that, we want it like a, at a, a decently 45 degree angle. Here we go. Oh my god, dude. Why do I keep cropping that the edge of that thing out? Here's what we here's what I should do. I should drop No, I think see if I drop another weapon for him though. Um if I drop another weapon. Oh! Hey, you know what? That's okay. At least the weapon. I don't mind if the tongue goes all the way through the frame. That doesn't bother me quite as much as the entirety of the weapon or a portion of the weapon getting cropped out. And here we did we did allow for the entire length of that weapon to be seen. And it's the edge of it's not cropping out. So that's not bad. Uh, I'll save that one. Okay. Thank you, Saltman. Thank you. That one's okay. I guess I'm going to save all these because, I, I again, it is already getting late. Um, oh. Okay, I think we got that internal internal cave shot. I do want to I do want to come and get something over here so we can see more of that shoreline. Something like that would be gorgeous. Yes, 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 yes. That's pretty freaking rad. Look at the uh, the atmosphere coming through those caves. That's gorgeous. His pose is great. We can see that weapon, full weapon, nothing being cropped out of the frame. That's prime, dude. Okay, let's keep maybe working on that a little bit. Maybe he'll do his dive. Yep. Okay. Oh, God. I started walking down the hill a little bit too much. Let's just save all these. I gotta have something to go through. We only have eight more shots, though. Um, maybe let's come all the way down. Miss me, sucker. As long as you're moving like slightly. Oh no. Okay, that one I know I'm not gonna want to keep because the weapon is completely obscuring his face. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, dude. Oh. It's like one second too too late. I want him, I like it when they're pulling it out, they, they're raising it up at one point and it kind of looks like they're doing like a jabbing attack with it, even though they're really pulling it out of the ground. But you know what, it's photography. Name, the name is, 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 is it works. Um, so no on that one. Again, the weapon does not look great. There we go, okay. That's a cool pose. Again, I think it looks, when they're pulling it out, you can't tell which direction they're moving, obviously, so then it looks like they're about to jab down, which is very fitting. I'm not enjoying that full, that left side of the frame um, where we're, we're, we're running into the side of the mountain there. I'm not into that as much, um, but that's fine. Let's see if we can get this guy involved. I, I think that guy's... Let's look this way first of all, because we're going to get this beautiful sunset. Ooh. 
dude, where's his shadow? I want that full shadow on the ground there. Okay, this is a better this is a better angle uh, for the sunset. And then once that sun's down, we'll whip back around because we'll grab the moonrise. I'm not sure where that's gonna pop up on that side of the frame, so I'll we'll have to make a dash. I want his full shadow there, though. No, do not give me bad weather, dude. Fuck. Hopefully that weather will clear up. That one's not that great. Oh, shit. And we got an Octorok joining in. Damn, dude. Okay. Sunset that we got. We, we kind of like missed our sunset opportunity. At least on that side. 8 p.m. Okay, so the Samoon's gonna be coming up any second. Oh, I got a weird double shadow on the ground for a second there. Oh, it's because the water. There's like two shadows. Um, let's get this guy in the mix. Because I think if I want... Ooh, ooh, crap. Um, if I want uh, the Moonrise in the mix, maybe with... Um, yeah, let that guy recede back over there. This guy's just got to not be involved. And then let's focus. I love these palm trees. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right. Shit. It's going to be style time. We haven't... You know what? We haven't done some solo style stuff at night on the beach. So let's actually get this guy gone. I should go buy more of these ancient arrows too, huh? Oof. Yeah, okay, this is a great... This could be a good opportunity, although... Again, they all have spears. Kind of annoying. Um, and I might get rid of one versus the other. Like, it's actually... Oh no, it's first we'll try with two. We'll try to get a good composition with two guys. Very interested to see where that moon comes up. Although the, the uh, that's okay. Um, uh, I think if the weather is not going to be good for a for a moon shot. Oh no, I was wrong. There it is. Oh god, did you see it coming up over there? Fuck. Oh my god, get over. Okay, where's the stalls? Come here. Come on. So it's going to rise. I'm not going to see it until it gets over the hill here. Oh, there it is. Oh. How is my... We got to delete some here, huh? Okay. Octorok, I said I didn't want to keep that. We're just keeping it for shits and giggles. So no. No on that one. This one really could have been great if the guy's freaking spears were both in the frame, but no. Uh, same thing, spears missing, no. No. That one has potential. I try. I don't want to do too much of an edit because, again, that's the, the, the flow is supposed to be we, we review all this at the beginning of the next stream, so I don't want to delete too many. No, but I, I do want to take the ones out that I just absolutely know we're not going to we're not going to want. Eh, this one, he, he should have been facing the opposite direction, or had, um, instead of uh, his weapon pointing camera right, it would have been better for it to be pointing across camera left. So let's just delete, like this, exactly. We, 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 we fixed the glitch between those two shots, although I think I like his position better in that first one. <laughs> Not supposed to review right now, dude. Okay, keep going. This leap looks really goofy to me. Uh, but I'll keep it for now. Loving that tongue shot, even though it's... Maybe there's some... Eh, again, I don't want to do a full breakdown. This shot, definitely not. He's behind that little hill. Same thing here. He's kind of getting... He's kind of going way too far behind that hill, and he's not standing out enough. That shot's great. I really wish his full shadow was in the frame there. I could have tilted down just a little bit. 
and then this shot could have felt real magical. I'm really bummed that that full shadow didn't end up in the bottom of the frame, but that's okay. Save it for now. This is this this is a no. Look at the the contrast is super low here. The background, there's no light on it, so you can't see what the fuck is behind them. No. Um, that one has the moon in there, but it looks like shit, so let's say no. And then that should give us plenty of space. Oh, okay. Uh, please give me an in-focus moon. I need that, that moon to be in focus. At least I, we have some. We have a decent amount of time, though, because now we're on the other side of these of those uh, of the Como shoreline, um, and so that we're we're getting a little bit more time on the moon rising, where we had such a short a short window. That one's not going to make it the cut, though. I'll tell you what. Oh fuck! He's about to do. Is he? Does he do tongue or does he do water? Um, I'm seeing the other fucking Boko popping up. Maybe I should get rid of that Boko uh, Stalk Goblin, actually, and keep the Stalaz... Stalazfos... Stalizfos... Stalazalfos... Whatever. Just an individual subject, because it's gonna... It's just gonna bone me. It's it's great when we can get two guys in the frame, no doubt. Um, I'll try a couple more with both, and then I might focus on trying to do one versus the other. Oh shit, I'm swimming now? Ah! Okay. Okay, assholes. I wouldn't mind them in the water, though. Oh, you have more cooldown on that leap attack, huh, pal? Where the fuck did the moon go? Give me moon or give me different subject that oh what happened to the Zophos? can they oh maybe they can't go in the water huh? is that what it is they're just dead if they go too deep fuck okay we'll bring this guy over and we'll get something with these palm trees maybe dude i'm right here i'm right here dude i guess skeletizing their skulls to lose some of their sight Oh, fuck. That might be the only shot we get. Unless that moon clears up even better. Okay, let me pan to the right a little bit. And tilt down maybe just a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe. Oh, fuck. No, now he's dashing at me. It's okay. I think we can... We can follow the moon as we're coming around this cove. Shit, I actually probably should have saved that one. But you know what? I knew that was going to be a deletion. Up for deletion at some point. And now he's just bouncing. Yeah. I think that was it in terms of moon. Maybe because now it's too it's gonna be too high to get any of these other foreground objects composed with it. You know what? Okay, this could be a cool Octorok shot right here. If we did this at, at when the moon was rising. Whoops. Ooh. See, like, imagine that. That's actually not a bad shot. Can I zoom in anymore? I love that lone palm tree just between the that little archway there. That looks absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm at max zoom, though, so I kind of want to compose this a little bit more. Have that on the one side. Oof. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That one's fine. No on that one. You know, that shot really is not that bad. I wish the moon was a little bit more visible, though. 
We really lost it behind those clouds, and it's out of focus. Kind of a bummer. And that shot could have come out really cool, too. Again, had the moon been in focus, maybe not quite as obscured. I like the shots when we're kind of in the water because that lowers us down and it kind of gives a lot of that foreground away to the water, which I do obviously want to add as much to the water as possible. Oh, that shot could have been cool, too. Here's what I might do. I'm really liking that Octorok composition like that. And the moon is literally going to rise right there. So, um, whoops, whoa, 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 pal. First of all, is there a fire over here that I can utilize? I don't know. Actually, dude, you know what? Let's not scum this. Let's do... Um, Let's just wait, wait for sunrise. Let's keep dicking around. Because, um, yeah, the sun's going to come up, and this is going to start to look real gorgeous. And we can do the same type of shot, but with the sun. And then maybe at the beginning of the next stream, uh, we'll have this whole cove. Martha's Landing right here. Uh, we have this whole uh, area to shoot with some moon moonlight and sunlight at the beginning of the next stream. So let's just do Sunrise. Um, there goes the Stalk Moblin. Stalk, stalk Oblin. Stalk, stalk Moblin. Uh, I believe the sun, again, should come up the exact same place that the moon does, right? So this should be pretty epic looking if we can frame this right. Yeah, I just want to dick around with my timing on this. It's, it's right after he shoots uh, his little rock out and is, is returning to the sea. That's when his pose, I believe, is the best. And let's also get as far out into the water as we can. Although that's going to kind of slow me down. But that also... Fuck, yeah, maybe we're too close there. Boom. Okay. So like that, uh, but with the sunrise. Also, actually, let's get a better compendium shot right now with this guy. While we're dicking around. Oh, that's going to be tough, huh? Oh. About to get smacked. Okay, save that one, and then that's going to be... Yeah, it's, it's a better compendium shot. At least the contrast and color is a lot better. At the very least. But you know what? I could use a portion of that if I move over. Try to use a portion of this. Of that. Of that uh, arch there in the background. Like that. That's pretty cool. Let's keep working on that one. Also, did my look sensitivity change again? No, I'm at slow. Maybe I want very slow. Ooh, look at that mean face he's got. Wish he was in the frame a little bit more. You really should be able to choose where that box lands in the full image. That would help out big time. But then it wouldn't be as much of a challenge, so whatever. Um, I think I still like I like this first one better because he's in the frame completely. He's just too far on the edge on that other one. But I'd like him a little bit more centered. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty nice. Would love it if that arch was completely in the frame. I think I put him a little bit too far in front of it. Fuck. Not bad timing, but... Um, also, let's delete 
now that I have it, I'm only shooting these ones for the compendium specific. I'm composing in that little centered box. So it's going to be difficult for any of these compositions to come out uh, the way I'm going to want them to once we get that sunrise in the shot. This is, I mean, this is closer to the composition. We want him offset from that arch. That shot's pretty cool, though. I like how you can see the, uh, the, um, trail left by the by the uh the rock i think if the rock was still in the frame in that shot just at just mid uh uh in into that like the mid side of that that rock face that could have been pretty sweet um i think i like that one better than this second one actually Okay, again, let's just keep trying to get this compendium shot better until we see that sun coming up. Let's see, I want him a little bit. Okay, here comes the sun, little darling. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that atmosphere. <sighs> That's looking really cool with that backlighting. Um, how long do I want that lens to be? How much more of the... How much more of the landscape do we want to include? I think I kind of want to see that top of... <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is looking so cool. And then we definitely want the silhouette of the palm tree perfectly placed, which that means I have to be in a very specific spot, like here. Fuck. Oh, look at those colors, absolutely gorgeous. I wish there was something on top of that mountain. Saving that, yeah, duh. Also, I wish the Octorok would be able to move a little bit with me if I wanted him to. But once that sun comes up, that's gonna be glorious. It should pop up just at the edge where, where that arch's foot is meeting the shoreline. It should pop up like right there, if I'm not mistaken. Also, I could probably tilt up a tiny bit. Look at those colors, man, holy shit. Now it's just going to be down to timing that Octorok and getting that sun in the frame once it's in there, once it's up. Ooh. And I wouldn't mind it with a rock in the frame either. That one's no good because the rock is a little cropped out, but I'll save it for now. We can go through. Ooh. Okay, that is basically the shot that I want. But we just need, hopefully, hopefully that sun will pop up. And I wouldn't, I would not be angry if the sun actually ends up peeking out above the mountain right there. That would actually balance, I think, really well with the composition because there's such, there's like so much, uh, there's so, like it's devoid of really anything interesting in that top left quadrant. Once you leave the area of that beautiful arch and that solo palm tree right there, which is very gorgeous in my opinion. Um, I wish there wasn't that other mountainside behind it. So it was really standing out. That full arch was uh, silhouetted against the full sunrise color, but um, it, it, the, the sun coming up just above that entire uh, uh, plateau or that, uh, I don't know if it's, technically a promontory but that plateau promontory thing um that'll look real fucking gorgeous give me some sun Ooh. i can get one of those rocks in there i can get one of them i'm gonna delete how many more shots do we have let me check that before i get too excited wait I have five more shots okay let's just delete a couple of these Okay, yeah, unless the rock, I'll save one with the rock in there just to prove that I got one for now. Um, this one is not going to be anywhere near as cool as any of these subsequent shots are going to be. I like, even between these two, 
the lighting looks so cool when there's like this rim light around him because he's completely backlit from a sun that hasn't really popped up yet. Thank you, Saw Man. Uh, I really want this sun to pop up, dude. This is gonna look really cool. Uh, we got go. We cleared a couple shots. We cleared a couple. We can just work with what we got now. Yeah, I shouldn't keep keeping these until we get... Oh! Oh, so I need to actually... Here's what I want to do. I want to be moving this way. Yeah. Oh! Boom! I'm uh, not happy about that left. There's like that tiny bit of the other cliff. The step above that first cliff is popping into the frame. That's what I'm bummed about. But hey, you know what? We got that full rock in there. You can't see. It's not the the uh, the trail is not as as predominant or it doesn't stand out as much because it's not in front of a darker backdrop. Because that's what I liked about the first one that we had with the trail. And I was like, oh, you can see that little trail Look behind it. Thank you. Um, still no sun, though, dude. Wouldn't it be great if the sun popped up? Uh, ah, I'm going to get hit. I'm going to get hit. Nope. Maybe not. No, what am I doing, dude? Where is the sun? Where the... It didn't even... It, the actual Ugh. uh oh now I'm gonna get hit the sunlight didn't actually didn't give me like a good like sun flare moment. I was hoping it would like just peek out over something. I think due to the weather, I think we were not able, it was harder to tell. Oh, now that's a shot. No, just kidding. Was that a meteor? Is it velvet? Okay, let's do this. Let's actually swap compositions up a tiny bit in here and do this. Because I love the silhouette of those palm trees and that whole rock face. Um, so maybe, and this will actually allow us to get an easier chance at that rock in the frame. Because now I have a little bit more time. Ooh, dude. Flying V just below the rock. Or a, a rock just below the flying V. That, dude, that one's pretty rad. Also, there's a decent amount of atmosphere along the coast on the left side, and the palm trees have a little bit of light on the fronds, making those stand out. That's a great shot, dude. Awesome silhouette. I don't think those are palm trees up in the top there, though. I think I keep calling those palm trees. I think those are whatever those other type of trees are, maybe. V, yeah, my V. Oh... Uh, a little, I'm a little disappointed that there's not as much detail in, um, in the sky in or behind those trees though on the top left. Oh well. Um, still sweet. Got to save that one and let's keep working it. Let's keep working it, dude. Oh, I really wish you could see the trail. You need the trail coming from the Octorok or at least or falling off of that rock being shot. Otherwise it's like, what the fuck is this Zelda Majora's mask and the moon's falling? You know what I mean? Like that's what that reads to me as it's also fully silhouetted. So there's like no detail on the rock. Maybe for that reason we should save it though. Maybe we can like add the little moon face. Like I can Photoshop the little moon's face from, uh, Majora's Mask onto that thing, and then it, it's like Majora's Mask and Breath of the Wild mashup or something. I don't know. Saving it. Saving it. Um, I kind of want to see, after the sun moves a little bit more, I'm going to be interested to see uh, 
if we can get more detail on that portion of the sky. Yeah, let's also let's, let's do like a super wide shot here. Because then maybe that will give us the... Little, little, little too, too much obscured by that rock. I don't think the rock is going to be able to get that close without me I'm being disappointed. Disappointed. See, now it's too far. Now we're too zoomed, too zoomed out too far. What I wouldn't mind is if the rock was right in front of where the sun is. But by the time it reaches that point, our little friend is going to be back in the water. You have to get this shot as he's falling back down into the water. And that's just not going to happen. Um, but you know what? Again, we can let that sun, I think as it rises, it, it loses a little bit of that blooming that it does. Ooh, I can see a little bit of a trail on that rock on that one. And again, we're getting a lot more detail behind the mountain now. So this is, I think, the right, the right idea. I could zoom in quite a bit. I don't mind. I don't know. Do I want that next step down on that shelf above on the top left, or do we want to crop? Do we want to crop it along the right side like this? I think I like it how it's closed off like that maybe then le letting the step down happen on that mountainside i think this one's eh. oops um yeah rather or like or opening it up this far but then we're not zoomed in as much we really need that to to make hit oh, flying v dude oh I'll save it for now. Album full. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Uh, we gotta delete some of these. Um. Okay. Let's just delete some of these ones that we have like millions of this type. Okay. So this is. Obviously, these this versus this. Save the one with the full frame of the rock in there. This one's a little bit too cropped out. I do want, I do want a nice clean shot of just the octa rock jumping out, and between these two, I like his pose in the second one better. His arms are, are down as opposed to flipped out. Also, look how much more the tree stands out in the archway due to more atmosphere behind it. Where here, it's getting lost because of the low key nature of that mountain drop behind it. So, we'll save that one versus this one. I love, I really do like that shot because it got the full rock in there. Although, maybe... I'm not like tight. I actually don't really like the way the rocks look flying through the frame. So, and like something like this is a better shot with a rock in there than like this one, I think, due to that flying V and a better overall landscape behind it. This one's like maybe a little too simplistic. Plus the palm tree's not standing out well here, so we'll just delete that one. That's fine. Um, I do like that one, but maybe this one can go. Because we're going to do a full night version of this whole thing. Also, again, don't want to edit too much right now. Okay, this one. Why did we save that one? Why did I save that one? I think, I'm, again, I was trying to save as much as I can because we want to be able to do a nice big review um, before the next stream. Oh, also, I do really want to wrap things up. So let's get the last couple shots here. I like that one. We have four more shots to take. Oof, the doofus. We got a few more shots, and then I got to save one on the roll for a obligatory self-portrait. I think I should just stop trying to get the rock in the frame. And when I'm trying to get the rock in the frame, I'm intentionally trying to be moving left as he shoots because then he's going to be firing 
across to camera left, whereas if I, I'm moving to the right as he's firing, he'll fire to camera right, give me more uh, space to compose without that rock in there. So we'll move left to get him to fire left, and then we get a clean frame with him in there. Gotta compose a little bit better though. I could zoom in quite a bit here. I don't think I need any of that 30% of the left side of the frame. Or do I want to zoom in? Yeah, I got to I got to move left a little bit to get that palm tree centered in that archway again. Delete that. Oh, shit. It was not moving in the right direction. He's also getting a little too far from... Eh, I think we got this shot. I think we got the best we could for this. Let's just do one. I did want one like very zoomed in, although we got that at... We got a decent one like that, I think, already. That one's pretty cool. I think we really want those trees, though, silhouetted in the, on the top of the mountain in the shot. I mean, we got it, though. We kind of got that. Like, that... Well, we didn't get... I guess I did not get a clean frame like that without the rock in there. Or with the mountainside. Let me just do one of those that we did with the with that silhouetted mountainside in there. Yeah, I think I think we lost the really good sunrise colors. It's starting to get a little low contrast too. So let's just stop there. Let's just stop there. I'm gonna end it there. Get out of here, Octor Stop! Well, though, this might be cool. Ooh, hang on. Although he's not going to be... Hang on. Hang on. Let me do this really quick. I want, like, an explosion on the right side of the frame um, with... Fuck, dude. Nope. Oh. I just want to test this out really quick. Ah, maybe this is a waste of time. Be standing still. What am I doing? What the fuck? Does it have like a wide, a wide landing range? Okay, I'm wasting. What am I fucking doing? This is such a waste of time. Although now the atmosphere looks really cool there too, so it's like. Guys have some gnarly accuracy, man. Okay, terrible shot, but whatever. We'll save that. Let's do obligatory self-portrait. Wait, wait. In our in our underwear, of course. And in fact, I'll just take one of these low-end defense buffs. Maybe like that. Just because I'm gonna probably take some damage right now. Because what I wanted to do was take off all my clothing. IRL. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just want to be in, in, my, in my, my beach outfit when we take our obligatory self-portrait. Dude, Link hits the gym. Notice the 
very, very finely, def er, well-defined, um, well-defined uh, pectorals. You know, he's hitting it. He's got some good legs on him. The man runs around for a living. You know, very rarely does a ponya help out. Um, let's do like here. Yeah, I want that thing almost hit me in the face. Or, well, in the head in this case. Fuck, I'm so clunky when it comes to timing these, these shots. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait. Okay, I had to do the pointing up though. Look at that one. Can I wait? Can I move during? No. That's what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, uh, if only the Octorok was in there. Maybe we can do that. Hang on. Oh, shit. That was my... Okay, never mind. We'll, we won't fuck around with that. Kind of a waste of time. Um, I mean, we're having fun, so how's it a waste of time for having fun? Um... Yeah, I just wish the Octorok was still in the frame a little bit. Well, you know what, dude? Let's fuck it. You know what, dude? Let's, what am I doing? What am I talking about? We can we can take that, dude. We can do that. Um, oh, I gotta no because he's gonna be down. He's gonna be down in the water before the the rock gets large enough to really work for that type of shot. So in fact, I will just do a. Ooh, wait, no. I will, in fact, just wait for him to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the color is a lot better in that one because the the sky cleared up a bit, and it looks like I'm kind of holding it. Great, love it. That actually might be one of the best uh, uh, self portraits that we've done. At least in terms of it being fun to have shot. Okay, let's just go hide so I'm not getting freaking nailed by this shit as soon as I start playing next time. Although I think he'll re he'll he'll uh, unaggravate himself as, as soon as we load. Oh, shit. Also, I have not saved for a while. Can't even remember the last time I saved. That would have been a bummer, huh? Um. Okay. Quick, quick, quick review. Obviously, not a breakdown, but we'll just do a quick review. We got to pick a good shot. Self portrait, obviously. Um, did this Octorok shoot, which did come out pretty cool. Pretty stoked on that. Um, did their little style shoot, style under the moon shoot, Golden Lazalfos shoot. Um, it's definitely gonna be one of those Octorok shots, though. That's the one I felt the most excited about. This tongue shot's pretty good. I don't like the placement of the Lazolfos in the frame. I won't get into the details. Let's just not get into the details right now. Probably gonna spend an hour doing that next time anyway. Um, this is not a bad Lazolfos shot. This probably would have been my favorite shot had I captured the entirety of his. Uh, shadow on the ground. I'm a little disappointed that it's just, just, just cutting out of the frame because that could have been a great one. This, the, the beach looks gorgeous behind him. Maybe a slight, slight, slight few minutes before this could have been a maybe a little bit better color in the sky, but that could have that was still a decent shot. Um, no, it's got to be one of these Octorok shots. Um. I like the simplicity of this one. I think it's going to be that one. Not to say these ones aren't cool. The one with the flying V above is also a pretty good capture. Some of these I know are just going to be deleted immediately, but I don't want to do that because we need more to talk about at the beginning of the next stream. It's going to be one of these simple ones, I think. Our pro snap pick of the day. Didn't I? I thought I said I was going to delete this 
Well, you know what? I'll keep both of these because I know exactly what I want to say about them comparatively, but I know which ones of these I like better. I like this one better. Uh, his pose is much better. And that tree, again, beautiful little silhouette of that palm tree just underneath that archway. That's that's really what makes that shot. The Octorok could maybe even not even be there. And that shot could look really cool. I like how simple it is. I like the simplicity in it. And the colors are absolutely gorgeous. And then the Octorok being there is just a little icing on the cake, I guess. But that also adds the element of timing that makes it a little bit more special. Because otherwise, we can come get that shot. Almost any sunrise, it's going to look very, very similar. And so having that element of something that I, I added to it and timed right. This one also, I might have chosen this one had I composed it better. I don't like the Octorox placement in the frame uh, and the silhouetted tree under that arch um, is a little off, off center, a little off center, which was the name of my brother's band in high school off center. Uh, just doxing my older brother a little bit. I know that I know that's not, I know that's not doxing. Um, yeah, it's this one. I love the simplicity. It feels very well balanced, in my opinion. The color, again, the colors, it's all about those beautiful gradients. I like how the ripples in the water here are mimicking um, the patchy, wavy nature of those, of those uh, wispy clouds in the sky. That looks gorgeous. The only thing that could have made this better would have been a little bit of the sun peeking out, maybe either inside that archway, although that probably would have ruined the silhouette on that palm tree, or maybe above in that top left, although I know it wasn't, it hadn't rose that far yet, but had the, it risen uh, above that archway and was popping up just above the hill there, that could have been cool. Or even just a tiny bit of it popping up over the, just just above the horizon uh, next to the foot of that arch, that could have been cool too. But that also might have ruined it. Once the sun comes up, if the sun's in the frame, sometimes it can overexpose elements a little bit too much or the surrounding area where it is. That could have been blown out. We're holding all the detail in all the areas of the sky here, so I'm stoked on that. Um, so yeah, pro snap pick of the day, done. Uh, let's save. We did, our, we did our self portrait. We can't shoot any more photos in the Ferron grasslands here. It's funny that it says Ferron. Well, I mean, I guess that's because it's just the total area is Ferron. It's just interesting. It doesn't say like Como shoreline that we were at or Ibarra Butte. It's just the uh, Ferron grasslands in general. Easy cut. Thank you. Back to more. Um, yeah, let's save, save, and then wrap it up. Cause I need to, I need to eat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, man. You guys are awesome. Um, hell yeah. <laughs> I love that heart, that little beating heart. Uh, okay. We save, save again. Why the fuck not? Um, doing well. yes. Thank you. Gary. Thank you. Um, adjust, adjust myself, get myself back in order here. Whew. I do sweat. I do start to sweat. I don't want to look like a sweaty mess. Um, that was pretty fun. You know, we had, we had, we, we, we mainly used a lot of that time for editing and, and reviewing, but, uh, I still think we came away with a couple keepers as usual as, as, uh, we all know it didn't, it didn't turn out uh, any good photos until like the last 30 minutes or whatever. Um, and I'm glad I stayed on to, to grab at least one cool shot. Because otherwise, I mean, like, we didn't have anything cool until we that Octorok popped up, and that was the last thing uh, that we started to shoot. In true Mosey Hanton fashion is how things seem to happen a lot of the time. Um, thanks all for sticking around. Really appreciate everybody's uh, commitment to the cause. Um, thank you again, Westosaurus, for the, sub uh, the uh, well, you got subbed. But thanks for the follow and thanks for hanging out. I very much appreciate it. Hope it was worth the time and and uh, and uh, devotion uh, to be here. Um, very much appreciated. 
Uh, hope everybody's available and around tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday, which means it's going to be Photography Friday and Fallout 76. So we'll be shooting some photography uh, in West Virginia along the West Virginia wasteland. Thank you. Um, and uh, real quick socials. I'll spell it right this time because I can freaking read. I can read my monitor now. Uh, and I'm, I think, like I said, I think I'm going to stop trying to describe which each one of these things is. I don't think, is that like a waste of time? I think that's kind of a waste of time. Um, but I will say if you want to watch previous streams, check out YouTube because all these will end up on there uh, along with what we're really working on every time we do one of these, which is a nice overall explanation, detailing the photography in this game, what I like about it what I would want to change, what we've been doing with it on the stream. Um, all that will end up on uh, YouTube along with all the other cool little videos. I have some other cool video ideas that I'm working on, so um, keep an eye on that. Otherwise, everything else is pretty self-explanatory, I would think, um, other than saying if you did enjoy the stream, obviously, and you want to help support the stream, following and being here is the best thing you can do. Um, and then, obviously, if you're on YouTube, subscribing, commenting, and liking on the video. Very, very helpful as well. So uh, again, thank you all for being here. really appreciate it. Hope it was worth the time. I uh, hope you all had fun, you know. Hope it was entertaining. Uh, and I will be back again tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Uh, PT here in the dark room. We'll be doing Photography Friday, so I hope everybody can make it. If you can't, enjoy your freaking weekend, please. Everybody enjoy their weekend. Have some fun. Relax a bit. You all deserve it. Um, and as always, take care, take photos, don't lose your dinosaur, I love you all, uh, peace, peace, yeah, really appreciate everybody being here, man, tonight was great, uh, I know I didn't get that many, I, I didn't feel that great about too many of those shots, to be honest, but you know what, I'm throwing a snack out at, at you anyway, beautiful, doing well, um, yeah, I just really appreciate everybody being here and all the support. Y'all are pretty increds. Y'all are pretty incredible. So you get, wait, I'll rate this. Uh, I'm going to rate this stream as a, a seven on the Argus scale. <laughs> Let's start doing that, dude. Argus scaling. I like that. I like that idea. <laughs> anyway, the scale from one to ten Argus. I'll give it. Uh, I'll give it seven Arguses. A piece of that just, the tip just seven got me Seven Argus uh, and a Todd. Seven <laughs> I like, Yeah, exactly. On, on cinema, at the, exactly. Exactly, dude. Uh, uh, seven, seven Arguses and a Todd. <laughs> All right, dudes, enjoy your evening, please. I love you. Peace.